I'm Andy Beningo and I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been to some pretty cool places and I've worked with some pretty cool people. This is my life on the road. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of On the Road with Andy Beningo. And a lot of people always ask me, hey Andy, what is the best thing about being a stand-up comedian? Well for me, I'm from Michigan, so the best part about being a comedian is, is when the weather looks like this. I like to go and work places that look like this. My wife hates it. She's at home with the two kids freezing. I'm calling home like, It's so hot here. I'm sweating. I got sunburn today. I get no sympathy from her at all. This week I'm flying out to sunny St. Thomas. St. Thomas is one of the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean Sea and is only 14 miles in length. Christopher Columbus sighted the island in 1493 on his second voyage to the New World. The island eventually became colonized by the Dutch as part of the Dutch West India Company in the 1660s and then was eventually purchased by the United States in 1917. My bad. I thought I was going to enjoy the warm weather, but it looks like karma caught up instead. Well, this is a great start to the trip. Apparently the uh, airline has misplaced my bag. Uh, which is not good because the only thing I'll be wearing on the cruise is this 1980s Olympic ratty t-shirt So uh, hopefully we find it somewhere Many bags look alike. Is it possible that Vincent Vega took my suitcase by accident? We have Vincent We happy? Yeah, we happy Customer service agents at American Airlines went above and beyond, and after about an hour, I finally found my bag! Yes. I jumped into a taxi cab and took a scenic drive down the beachside and finally arrived at my hotel, the Windward Passage. Walking around St. Thomas looking for some food. I'm excited because I saw on the map that there's a Pizza Hut, so I'm gonna go hit that. Poor Pizza Hut. So uh, maybe I can find some ice cream or something around nearby because I'm a huge health nut. Closed. After a little bit of searching, I finally found an awesome restaurant called The Greenhouse. Found some American food. So why'd the chicken cross the road? Oh man, I hate steps. Every now and then you gotta stop and smell the roses or take a breath from all the steps. Take a look at that view. It's definitely worth all the steps, I think. So right behind me is Blackbeard's Castle. It was built in 1679 by the Danish, and it was originally called Skysborg, which translates to Protection Tower. It's uh, located at the highest point of St. Thomas and served as a watchtower over the harbor. It is not known what year Skysborg took on the name of Blackbeard's Castle, but the infamous Edward Teach, commonly known as Blackbeard, did sail the Caribbean waters in the early 18th century. It has become part of the lore of the island that he used the tower as a lookout for his own purposes of piracy. Man, walk up all those steps and it's closed. That's not fair. Uh, Blackbeard's castle is closed due to some hurricane damage. Uh, so that's about all the, uh, the shot we can get, unfortunately. And, uh, Hopefully it gets repaired and we can come back and see it sometime soon. So much damage all around St. Thomas due to the uh, hurricane, but that, uh, that tower is still standing a couple hundred years later. It's amazing. It's crazy to think that Blackbeard himself used to sail these very waters behind me. Nearby is the beautiful Three Queens Fountain, which is dedicated to three former slaves that led a labor revolt against the Danish for improved working and living conditions in 1878. 
Here we are in front of Hotel 1829. It was a hotel that was established in 1829. Okay, that's enough history for today. If you enjoyed this week's episode, make sure you click the subscribe button to watch upcoming episodes of On the Road with Andy Beningo. So my husband told me to take a video outside to show how cold it is. But yes, it's cold and snowy and he's in a nice warm place. Jerk.